हेलो सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर आई एम फाइन सर ओके प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ ओके माय सेल्फ इज नेहल माने कोसे आई एम फ्रॉम सोनंद आई हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस माय बीसीएस फ्रॉम सांगोला कॉलेज सांगोला विद 77% I am currently pursuing MSc Computer Science from Shankaran Hoti Patel College, Nadi Hoti. Uh, I have uh, uh, backend language. I am backend language in backend language course Java, and I advance Java in uh, survey JDBC tenth uh, Spring Boot Spring MSc. Okay, Miss, you know the uh, the things related to Java, right? You know about Java things, right? Okay, uh, today I will take your interview on JVM architecture. Okay, do you have any idea about JVM architecture? Yes. Okay, then what is JVM? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine and it is a part of JRE. JVM, uh, uh, JVM is Actize Runtime Engine to run Java based application. JVM performs two activities load dot class file and run dot class file. Okay, uh, okay, dot class file, right? Okay, uh, what is dot class file that is what? Dot class file means. Uh, mm, um, okay, dot class file contain bytes code. Okay, okay, no problem. And this byte code will be run and all those things. Okay. Okay, uh, can you explain me uh, in short uh, basic architect architecture of JVM? In short. Basic architecture. JVM contains a class loader subsystem, runtime data in execution engine. Mm -hmm. You you mean you know uh, the Java things, right? Okay, then what is JVM? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine and it is a part of JRE. JVM, uh, JVM is act as runtime engine to run Java based application. JVM perform two activities load.class file and run.class file. Okay, uh, can you explain me in short? Huh? I don't want in detail. Uh, what is the basic architecture of JVM? Means uh, basic structure. Basic structure, okay. Uh, JVM stands for uh, Java. No, uh, architecture, okay. Uh, JVM class loader subsystem runtime data in execution engine. Okay. Okay. Uh, then class. Uh, can you explain me the what is class loader subsystem? Okay. Class loader subsystem. There are so three parts. Three parts. Uh, loading, linking, and initialization. Okay. In loading, there are so three part types. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, bootstrap class loader, extension class loader, and application class loader. They all work as load the program. Okay. In linking, there are also three types. Uh, first one is boost, uh, verification, second one is preparation, and third one is res uh, resolution. Uh, in uh, verification, so work to verify the program that is compiler, verify the code properly or not. Uh, then second one is method directed to the prepared work as static variable but store default value. And the reason of third one is the resolution work as symbolic name replaced by actual name. Okay, in resolution. Okay. Uh, in preparation stage, what happened? Uh, I mean verification. Verification for to verify the program. Verify the program. Okay. Any preparation? Preparation. Okay. Uh, okay. In verification. Uh, for to verify the program. Uh, that is compiler. Uh, verify the code. Okay. Properly or not? I yeah. Mean. Those things check, right? And uh, in preparation stage. Uh, preparation. The uh, the main preparation. Mm. Memory. Added to the name. Static variables. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And initialization stage. Uh, then initialization work as uh, then initialize value to the static variable mm -hmm. with its own value and also memory will be allocated for the static block. Okay. Uh, the second uh, part is what? Preparation. Class. Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Class loader. Uh, runtime. Run okay. Runtime means memory area. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, what are the types of? Uh, means there are parts, right? Uh -huh. What are the parts? Uh, five parts. Sir. Okay. Uh, method area, heap area, stack area, native area, and PC register. Okay, uh, what happened in method area? In method area, there are uh, in method area stores the static variable, and all uh, in method area stores the static variable, and there is information about all things of the class level. Okay, class level yes. information also stored in method, method area. area. Okay, okay, and what happened in uh, suppose uh, I created uh, object, so suppose I create object, means memory will be located to non static, non -static right? But where is this memory? Uh, heap area. In heap area, heap memory will be stored. Okay. And what happened in stack area? In stack area, may be allocated to the no, local variable. Okay, local means in method. In, in yeah, okay, okay. Local variable for local variable, memory will be stored in stack. Okay, what what is the working of PC register? Uh, PC register, uh, 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 there is address of the current uh, execution instructions. Means instructions will be there, okay. Okay, and what happened in native area? Uh, in native area, method allocated to the native things. Uh -huh. Um, okay, what is native things? 
Do you have any idea about it? No, sir. Okay, native means uh, other than same language. Means suppose you are uh, using some code from uh, other than Java, right? Means uh, C or anything, right? This code we suppose used in uh, Java, we can call it what native things. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, where uh, object store? Object store. In which heap area? Heap area. And where store non static? Non static. Uh, non static, a hmm. uh, non static uh, uh, heap area. Okay, in heap area because objects contain non static exactly. things. Okay, okay, uh, then third part is what execution. Execution engine, can you explain? Okay, uh, there are the uh, three types of uh, interpreter. Hmm. First one is interpreter, hmm. second one is JIT compiler, and third one is uh, garbage collector. Then interpreter work as convert bytecode into motion code. And JIT compiler then highlight code which is repeatedly used. Okay. And, and uh, garbage collector destroy the variable that is not in the work. Okay. Uh, garbage collector destroy uh, things what is not in use. Right? Okay, good. Okay. What is the use of interpreter? Interpreter. Mm -hmm. uh, interpreter work as uh, highlight code uh, which is. JIT compiler. Uh, Hi, interpreter, na? Uh, interpreter work as byte code into machine code. Okay, convert into byte code, code into machine. machine code. Okay, and JIT compiler? Uh, then highlight. Okay, so repeated code highlight. Uh, okay. Repeated code. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, and garbage collector destroy the things. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I have done from my side. Uh, just to prepare more on those things, but things are good. Okay. Uh, we'll be scheduling uh, your interview next week. Uh, okay, then I have done from my side.